for Showbiz Junkies, Mark Shaman recalls figuring out the beat to You Can't Stop the Beat and mm-hmm. says, quote, Scott came up with the idea of how the beat sort of symbolized both the show and the idea that just goes on and on and sort of relates to life and life in America and just about everything you can think of. He was on his way out and we sort of settled on something of can you stop the beat? I was at the piano, I started playing a rhythm and that song just poured out of me like lava. When left alone to just his piano and one of the themes to go off of, Shaman just began to do. There was no structure, no schedule, no appointment. He just started playing, and from that, the rest followed. When composing, Mark Shangman is never afraid to go back and work hard to improve um, the work or fix problem spots. In, an interview, in that same interview with Rose Co., Shangman says, well, the truth is that it's somewhere online you can write original demo, you can't stop the beat. Believe it or not, it was faster. I was like, oh, this should be one of those songs that, can you get all the lyrics out? Can you spit them all out on time? And if you do, it's a huge accomplishment. So musically speaking, I did kind of take the test. I did kind of make it a test for the singers. They all call it, can you, you can't stop to breathe. I like this quote. <laughs> I like this quote because Mark points out that the original demo is not always the final product. Every song is a test, and you have to change things improve things and keep going back and forth. For Mark, com- composing music is trial and error. Throughout Hairspray and other musical endeavors the Shaman has worked on, his process is always dependent upon teamwork, collaboration, spontaneity, and the drive to make improvements. And now I'm going to transition to talk about writing philosophy. Or process. Philosophy process. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so, Mark Shannon began composing and writing music at the age of 16, as previously stated, but his love for music started way earlier with emotions rather than achieving fame and fortune. In an interview with Hugh Hart of the Los Angeles Times discussing his latest, the latest project, Mary Poppins Returns, Mark Shannon says, quote, I learned everything about songwriting and orchestrating from listening to Mary Pop- to a Mary Poppins record as a toddler. I didn't know the difference between a French horn or a trombone. I didn't know the tremolo strings were. All I knew were these sound that these sounds drew me in and made me feel things. Shaman's composing comes from a desire to make people feel emotions. Whether it's the somber light strings used in the place where where lost things go that give you a feeling of nostalgia and joy and a little bit of sadness, or the pounding drums and shaking maracas in You Can't Stop the Beat that just want to make you get up and dance and sing, Shaman's ability to compose feelings is remarkable. Though Mark Shaman dropped out of school himself, theater education is a very important cause to him. In an interview with Logan Caldwell Block, after it was announced that both Shaman and Whitman would be honored with a theater education award, Shaman said, we have always been commu- committed to making music theater relevant and accessible to high school students because it's essential for their success as well as the progress of the industry. For Shaman, the importance of making and impacting young children's lives is one of the biggest impacts that he can make with music. For him, the progress of the theater industry relies on the younger generation, ergo the high school students and their education with theater and musical theater. And finally, the final philosophy Shaman stands by is making music that is impactful and lasts. When, we, when ranking some of Mark Shaman's best songs, Ben Rim, Rimelo goes on to say, I was aware of their talents, but nothing could have prepared me for Hairspray. I can count only a handful of new musicals I've seen in my lifetime, which have filled the Broadway with theater so richly. This comment reflects, and it reflects the impact reflect the impact that Shaman strives to achieve through his composing. He strives to always look forward and fill the stage with rich music that has a lasting effect. Uh, And to comment on more important subjects that can be left in a state of joy and hope for the future. Mark's writing philosophy is a pretty simple one. Follow your heart, make music mean something, and leave a lasting impact with the younger generation and all audiences. Finally, my conclusion, to restate, to conclude, um, the purpose of this speech was the introduction to Mark Shane, the composer of Hairspray. I was able to do this through life and career, writing process, and writing philosophy. 
What I hope you take away from this speech is that Mark Shaman's career started on the sheer luck of being in the right place at the right time, which introduced him to Scott Whitman, who would collaborate with him for nearly 40 years on projects, and that he would compose music and his foundation in composing that music would be a feeling and emotion. I'd like to conclude with arguably the most famous lyric Mark Shaman ever wrote from Hairspray that I believe encapsulates his feelings of always following your heart, collaborating, and letting music guide you. Because the world keeps spinning round and round, and my heart's keeping time to the speed of sound. I was lost till I heard the drums, then I found my way, because you can't stop the beat. Oh. Thank you. Thank you.